Hello ladies and gentlemen today's video is all about buying a pack of oral tobacco and explaining the health hazards behind it even though it is illegal to sell oral tobacco still some small time shops sell those uh, oral tobacco packets to school students and college students as well so we are going to attempt to buy a pack of oral tobacco today and let's see what happens mission starts now Yes, mission accomplished ladies and gentlemen. Finally, I have managed to buy a pack of this oral tobacco. So this is what they have been selling. Uh, uh, I took a closer look and uh, I read it. The actual price of this packet is uh, 26 rupees. But what they got from me was 100 rupees, which is nearly four times the price of this packet. So let's go and break down the health hazards of this one. So let's meet there. Yes, many Indian states have actually banned smokeless tobacco products like Coolip and Nans. Also selling cigarettes within 100 meters radius of schools and colleges is prohibited by the law. But let's be honest, are these laws strictly enforced? If so, why are youngsters the largest consumers of these harmful products? Not just that, I noticed something unusual during this year's IPL. Usually we are bombarded with ads from food delivery apps, tech brands, etc. But this year, fantasy gaming apps and pan masala ads dominated the screens. That raised a disturbing question in my mind. Pan masala is legal, but Coolip isn't. So what exactly is wrong with Coolip? Let's hear it from our expert. Hi, this is Dr. Joshua Stalin, orthodontist practicing at the Cornerstone Dental Clinic, Karapakam, Chennai. Products like Hans and Coolip contain arica nut, tobacco, slaked lime and artificial flavors. These are all known carcinogens. When consumed over time, these can cause chronic irritation, fibrosis and eventually oral cancer. As doctor said, that's the basic difference between pan masala and kolli. The brands endorsed by celebrities does not contain any tobacco allowing them to legally advertise. Since Coolip is disguised as a mouth freshener marketed to teenagers, sold without clear labeling, often tax-free and unlicensed, they are banned in many Indian states, unlike cigarettes. When the Coolip pouch is placed between the lip and the gum, the nicotine gets absorbed through the oral mucosa. Within seconds, millions of nicotine molecules jets into the bloodstream and rush to the brain, where nicotine binds to a nicotinic acetylcholine receptor just like a missing puzzle, triggering dopamine release, the same happy hormone involved in pleasure, reward and motivation. This gives users a brief euphoric high and a false sense of happiness. But that high doesn't last long. The brain starts craving for more dopamine. So the user takes another pouch and then another. That's how nicotine creates addiction subconsciously. But that addiction is just the beginning because the real monsters are the carcinogenic agents like tobacco present in the cool lip pouch. Cool lips contain at least 28 known carcinogens. Since the chemicals sit in the mouth for long periods, they cause even more concentrated damage than smoking. The soft tissues of the lips, gums, cheeks, and throat absorb these toxins directly. In addition, oral tobacco products contain chemicals like formaldehyde, arsenic, cadmium, lead, and even radioactive elements like polonium-210. Over time, these chemicals damage the DNA of the cells in the mouth and throat. Once the DNA is mutated, the cells begin to divide uncontrollably, forming cancerous tumors. Prolonged use of Cool Lip leads to oral cancer. The predominant symptoms are chronic non-healing ulcers, red color or white color patches inside the mouth, restricted mouth opening, difficulty in chewing, swallowing or moving your tongue, hoarseness or change in the voice. Terrifying, isn't it? If you think the symptoms are pathetic, you should listen to what our doctor says about the treatment. I have seen quite a few cases in my career. In most of these cases, the treatment involved surgically removing huge portion of the affected tissues involving their tongue, their cheek and other areas. Even after the treatment, the patient will be having difficulty in doing day-to-day -day activities like speaking and chewing. So it is always wise to prevent this rather than treating this. All these problems are caused by this 26 rupees sweet smelling tobacco. But what starts cheap ends up eating all your life savings. Surgery for oral cancer can cost between 4 to 10 lakhs. 
and every chemotherapy session can cost up to 1 lakh. If it is in government hospital, it's our tax money that goes for their treatment. Let's leave cool lip aside for a while and talk about the so-called non-tobacco pan masalas endorsed by our favorite celebrities. Are those really safe to consume? Nowadays, a lot of companies promote non-tobacco pan masalas. A lot of people consuming them thinking that they are not harmful. But the truth is that they are also as harmful as the tobacco containing pan masalas because they also contain large amount of cancer producing agents like aricoline, calcium hydroxide and nitrosamines. So they should not be used either with or without tobacco. In a 2016 study on 4.5 lakh people, it was found that the odds of developing oral precancer in non-tobacco pan masala users were 20.71 and in tobacco users were 88.07 at 95% confidence interval against non-users of both. Even the celebrity endorsed safe pan masalas often come with healthy add-ons such as Hans or Gutka, silently turning casual users into cancer patients. It's high time that all Indian states should ban Colip and other unregulated tobacco products with strict regulations. Because this is not just a personal issue, it's a national public health crisis. So, choose your heroes wisely. Even they don't use the products that they endorse. I got away from um, all kinds of, uh, you know, junk. I did not have a cheat day at all. I don't smoke. Ah. I don't encourage smoking also. It's no tobacco, nothing. If you find this video helpful, share it as much as you can. I'll see you in another one. Until then, this is Rakesh signing off. So, those who are already using these products, it's better to quit them as early as possible. It is very important to note the trigger points. The trigger points are places or situations where you use them often. Identify those trigger points and avoid those situations. Slip ups can happen. Don't give up. Restart again and stay committed.